Hi everyone, this is Connie with Prairie Paper Crafts. Sorry it's been so long since I've done a video. Just had some health problems and just trying to get back into things. So, rough month in December. Okay, so I'm going to be putting together uh, Franklin I Love You. It is from Archery and Designs. He will be about four and a half inches, I want to say. Just a moment here, I'll just double check. Yeah, about four and a half inches tall. And um, I brought him in and we're still grouped together. I, it's at 9.614 inches wide by 7.721 inches high. And that's what gives you this size. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I want to let you know for the bear, I used creamy caramel or just caramel. I forget the name of it exactly. If it's changed, it's from American Crafts. And I inked it with soft suede. And as I go on, I will share with you the other colors as much as I have information on because a few of the pieces are just from my stash and I have no clue. All right. I'm sorry, I'm trying to see what I'm doing. Without my glasses, it's the pits, and with my glasses, it's just as bad. So, I'm just putting his legs on first. And I apologize if I stop and start. I, I have been having a terrible time with my phone, and I, my someone from my internet provider was out yesterday and they think it's their service connections that are causing the issues because uh, they've had a lot of complaints and I've been hearing just in the area in general there's been a lot of issues since the storm we had so uh, yeah now he's gonna have feet on that are gonna cover this and I, I just never know if his legs are right side up so or which way they're going to me they're right but then they don't work that way nope I haven't put a Franklin bear together for a while so I apologize I'm gonna try to take this off and start over and see if he would go better over here yeah you know uh, quite often I take things apart and start over and I manage. It all goes together in the end. I don't know if you saw the uh, pandas I made recently for gift containers. They were also from uh, Marjorie and Designs. And I will be, okay, I hope to be sharing with you the treat boxes that are going on. And I'm going to be making some uh, the I Love You Tons bears, uh, no bears, they're elephants also, so I will hope to share that project with you and the paper piecing, at least some of them, as I go. Okay, going to put his little feet on. Something's not quite right with this. Even here, even here. Sorry, I'm not quite in frame there. Get that out of the way. 
You know it's terrible you don't do a video for a while and you get really rusty. At least I do. I am... Um, I've been doing some creating, not as much as I have been, it's just, it may slow down a little bit, we'll see, uh, but I have lots of ideas and I'm going to really concentrate on mostly holiday stuff, I, I just, um, yeah, I, uh, his little paw just came down a little bit too far. It's just, I'll be doing some scrapbooking and stuff, but um, mostly holiday stuff and giveaway stuff, to be honest. Uh, you know, I just want to give back some, so all oh, my hands today want to not cooperate either. Goodness, I tell you. Okay, his ears. If you can tell, there's two sizes there. They're just a hair bigger. The bigger one, I'm just gonna double check, goes on the left, okay? And I gotta figure this one out. The smaller one goes on the right, and yeah, got it. Just kind of play with it. If you can see it from this way, it does pull in a little bit further. This is the back side and the front side. It does have a little bit flatter side over here, not so much there. So the, the flatter side goes to the outside of the ear right over here. Sorry, my fingers are a mess. I've been inking and I don't stop and wipe them off. So I've heard so many people are still battling COVID. I have been very lucky. I have not had to deal with that since the beginning of the pandemic. I'm not sure why, but I don't get out very much. And I do believe that might be in this case beneficial I don't know but if you're struggling with it I'm hearing some awful things again about the long-term effects and stuff so please do take care I just I was looking up health problems that I have and um, it's some of the symptoms are similar um, with the congestion and the fatigue and stuff and the coughing uh, but no I don't have COVID so that could be um, a serious matter So I put his body and his ears on and now we can go ahead and put his head on. And I am using the same eyes to come with the pattern this time. You can always to you can always choose to use different eyes. Um, I just wanted to do them the same this time.
The pink in his ears, I forgot to mention, I'm sorry, is Basil Candy Floss. The color I'm using is Stampin' Up Petal Pink for the inking of his ears. The muzzle, no clue for the color, the paper color. It's, uh, I don't know if it's Recollections, I forget what I saw on one of the pieces and I don't remember and I don't know exactly what color ink I used on there. I have a feeling it is Rusty Hinge from Tim Holtz, the Distress Ink. Um, very light because it's it was already on the sponge dauber and it was very faded but it works for what I wanted so I apologize I really do not know I'm gonna quit put his arms on here and we'll leave the hands for last So what I'm trying to do with some of my pieces that I'm giving away and stuff, I'm trying to do some different gift boxes and stuff, some more decorative packaging, I guess I will say, uh, for those that can be reused if you wish to re-gift something. Um, just to go in a little bit. And I'm also trying to do stuff, maybe, you know, send stuff out, if it's holiday stuff, maybe a month in advance. I'm going to put his nose, eyes, and stuff up above and do his, the letters next. Uh, but that way it can be, you know, you can use it, you have it if you want to re-gift it or use it for something for whatever the reason just want to make sure this has got a little tiny bump at the bottom I don't know if you can see there and so I make sure I get it right but anyway I'm trying to do more gift packaging and stuff so just to do something different because I love to do gift boxes and stuff and treat holders and I let my sister talk me into doing some for her again and I am um, just you know want to get back at that so I will share on my Facebook page what I made for her they're, they're nothing you know fancy I got a die from Amazon I think it was from chaos crafts store um, the candy box holder and I did it for Christmas for my great nieces and nephews. I got the mini, the fun size, I think they're all, no, they're the, I don't know, they're the candy bars that are about, what, two and a half, three inches long. And then on the back of it, of the candy bar, before I stuck it in the little box, I used a removable glue dot and folded up some money and put it on there. And the oldest of my great uh, nephews was the one to first catch it. He always does. He's he's just old enough he'd figured out. But anyway, so they like that. But um, yeah, it. So I followed a um video from Carol's Craft Cottage and kind of followed that. So I'm going to put the nose on first, so I kind of have an idea where I want to put the eyes. I'm going to get this finished, and then I will stop the video, get all my stuff together for the packaging. I'll show you the, the smaller paper piece I have done, too, and we'll get it all put together. I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing to decorate it, so I've got to get all my pieces together. I've turned when my when the head is 
at an angle. I have to turn it straight so I can kind of see what I'm doing here. Just helps me to get the eyes and stuff on better. Now this bear, I did not do a contrasting color for the ink, for the bear. Normally when I ink the edges, I would do the one color and then I would do a darker color just kind of on the edge of it. And I didn't this time, I just left it plain. And I like it that way. This it, It's just not quite as stark. You'll see it on the other one if you stick around. It's got the... Uh, It's got the darker outline, and it's quite dark, so. Uh, let's see. Got to get my head basically in here. I'm gonna, just going to zoom in a minute. So you can maybe see a little bit better. Eyelashes won't be real dark. Uh, I need to get a different pen. I think I can. I can see them. I just have to figure out where I'm at. So. Okay. tools are today. I just use um, these decorating chalks. I don't use any special chalks. This is a set I have had forever. I don't remember where I got them. I do know, and I think they're still available. I'm not 100% sure, but Pebbles have some nice chalks. I don't know of any others, but it, chalks are chalks. I don't think, you know, unless you want to get pan pastels for um, the chalks. You know, for the cheeks and stuff too. I just am using up what I have. Okay. I do use white pan pastels for my highlighting. Now my eyelashes I did in 005 and I don't really particularly like them just because I can't see them. So I'm going to do them just a little bigger. Um, and I don't like this 002, or 02, excuse me, it's a little too big, but it's okay this time. Um, I don't recommend using a 005 uh, pen in the Cricut. I pushed mine in too far, and so I've already, oh, which one have I got, zero two. These tips are really, uh, what do I want to say, flimsy? I, I mean, I love the pens, but I used both of them in the Cricut and it's too much pressure, so I can make the 005 work fine, but so I just using them my uh, my Pilot Precise V5 Extra Fine, it works good too. Okay. White Pan Pastels.
I don't know. I got this brush off of Amazon. Don't remember what kind or anything. This is a brush sticks and artistic artifacts have these. There's a set of three or four in a package. I don't remember, but those are really nice. Uh, let's see. Got to put my pan pastels uh, back together. They really, they're getting kind of flaky there. I just add some highlighting. I don't just uh, buff it out. I'm not putting any white in his eyes today. I'm just going to leave those plain. You know, my other bear went together fine and I get on video and everything is a mess, not working. Of course, I'm just putting the lid on my glue so it's uh, not all dried out and I, or the tip doesn't dry out when I'm ready to use it. barely touch the paper when I first start this. That's why it looks like I'm forever going in circles, but I just, easier for me not to put much on. Add a little bit as I go. Okay, now I'm going to try and figure out the heart. Just kind of want to get an idea of how he's going to fit. Because he's bigger, he's fitting better here. Then. He did before. I'm just trying to figure out with his hands or with his paws that it's gonna work okay. Yeah. So he does go at quite a bit of an angle, and I want to miss his the most of his eye, but yet get it so it. His paws can make it work. So let's see again. It's a little bit different than it looks in the picture online, but that's what we're going to go. So I'm just using my tweezers as a guide where to put a little bit of glue. Hopefully it'll work. Okay, and now if we can remember how we had this work. Let's see. It's kind of looking at his hands down there too, so We're good here. 
and we'll be good there. Get some glue off of there. I'm also going to be working on Christmas tags throughout the year and I'll be having planning on uh, gifting those so I have some plans for the new year we'll see how a lot of it depends on how I feel really how much I can get done I have kind of very much learned my limits so and this one may want to go at a little bit of an angle too that one I didn't want to pop off I have a struggle gluing on top of glitter I just I actually like my beacon glue better for working with glitter okay so just to show you what he looks like with the letters it is get him to stand straight I'm not quite done I apologize wouldn't you know I've had a lot of people ask what I use I use jelly roll for my white highlighter, um, I use normally a 08 and a 10. I don't have a, a 05 right now, and that is very, uh, very precise. It's very, very fine, but it is nice to have on real small pieces. So at some point when I need to order out, I'll get that. But here we go. Now, I'm going to show you real quick the comparison of just a dark bear. We don't, I'm going to move that a minute. Much tinier, obviously, but he's got a lot darker colors on him, but, and I didn't turn the heart quite as much. It, but anyway, I just struggle with that one. Sometimes when they're smaller, it's harder to get things exactly the way they look on the design but so I'm going to come back and show you what I'm doing with this little guy and I do have the letters cut for him and I'll give you the information on the box I'm using as soon as I get everything together so hang tight one moment okay I have my stuff ready to put my little container together it's not quite as little as it maybe looks but um, this is Thick. It is a box from Lori Whitlock's SVG files, and it is cut at 7.084 wide by 10.5 high. So it will fit on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper if you wish. I did an internal offset of 0 0.7, and I used, I only did it for the front and the back. And I just created one and duplicated it. I um, I did some slicing with the file to take off the bottom piece and everything that's attached. So it was took a little bit. It's easy to do. It just takes a little bit of fiddle with it. And then I just cut these sides manually. And then I have the back also. I did reinforcements just to kind of keep the holes a little sturdier. I will be putting in a bottom piece to the box because it really makes it a lot sturdier. I just haven't cut that and I just cut that manually. I just measure the bottom and then I do about a sixteenth of an inch smaller on each side just so it's pretty snug in there and I glue it in. And what I did was I just took some ribbon and I'm going to untie it. I think it'll work fine to uh, decorate it yet. You can see it's it's quite roomy inside. It's a nice little box. 
but my ribbon is about let's just guessing here I'm just measuring on my table about 17 inches long you could do 18 it's just some ribbon I had in my stash from really reasonable ribbon and so put that so I remember where I put it okay some other things I used this, I've got all my dies out for once, <clears throat> excuse me, I used the, sorry for any glare here, Spellbinders, Nestabilities, Petite Ovals Small, and the Petite Scalloped Ovals Small. Uh, don't know, the item numbers are S4141, s 4 S is in Sam, 4140. I don't even know if these are still available anymore. They are so old. Uh, you could use any shape. It just worked with the length, you know, and the width. And I did use the second to the largest dies for here. If you do happen to use something like that. They are about... I have such a mess. I had this cleaned up for, for Christmas and well about four inches for the width of the largest or the outside piece and then about three inches high. So you could certainly create one in Design Space or if you have Silhouette Studio, I'm not sure what that's called, but you could do that. So I used those. Okay, and then I cut in glitter paper and I used mirror board and I used uh, some digital paper for this inside here. And yes, it's like a raspberry pink. I like to mix and match colors. You, By the time you get everything together, you won't know. It'll be fine. I cut two of these, and I'll give you the information in a moment. They're out of glitter paper. And then I cut... I might need to cut more leaves. I'm not sure. I just started with two of the bigger, and then one of the small can get a hold of it I love these dies these are foliage dies from my creative time I took them apart because they don't stick on the tape for me very well and I didn't want to lose any but I don't know if the item number probably won't show here um, we get a black darker piece of paper just pick up a scratch I don't know but it's again my creative time for me the foliage dies it's M C T D 427 these I believe are probably still available they're not I don't know if they're that old to be honest uh, for me they're not and I think they're from a newer release I have to put everything back or I tend to lose things okay then I created this tag. I got a, like a raspberry and white baker's twine on there. Again, that's from Really Reasonable Ribbon, as are my flowers that I'll be using. The stamp and their little heart tags are, as, you can buy them as a set or set. I mean, you can get them separately. Again, I don't know if they're available. I'll give you the information. They're from Lawn Fawn. It's the tiny tags there's four different tags tiny tags and it coordinates with the tiny tag sayings stamp set again from lawn fun and I put again put them in a bag because I lose things and these are some pretty tiny ones so I thought the with love worked really good for Valentine's Day and there's just for you a little something for you do not open till December 25th happy holiday holidays enjoy things for you love and so there's quite a few things a little to and from with the, you could I can't write that small but works and there's a little tiny heart and some swirls so yeah those are really fun again I I'm sorry I don't know if they're available so uh, what I'm gonna do is get started here and yeah I'm gonna put this on first and then I work around it so just kind of center this I do have foam tape on the back of this. I didn't put it on about the top fourth because by the time this folds in and gets tied, 
you won't need it anyway. So we got this going. Just get some glue on here, maybe. I can go through a bottle of glue like nobody's business, I tell ya. My sister was asked to pick it up and just wipe them out any time they have it. She was there once and wasn't sure if I needed it. Get it from the Dollar Tree and then said yes please. She went back and it was wiped out. So told her next time, buy it. Okay, I'm going to try to get this centered closer to the bottom but not right sitting on the bottom. Go like that. I just want to hold it down for a little bit so it dries good. Doesn't move around while I'm trying to work. Thanks for sticking with me if you've made it this far. It took me a uh, and I said, I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, well, it took a while to get everything put together and figured out what I wanted. And I like to get the foam and everything cut, too. So uh, let me think about this. I think we'll put the foliage on next. At least get the leaves and stuff in there. And I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. What I'm going to do is stick this a little bit down and behind just and toward the bottom well it's got to go down a little or up a little bit but then I'm going to have most of the leaves be out okay so how I do that is I just put some glue so I can see what I'm doing I'm sorry if it's really close to the camera but I can't see and then on the one side that's going to go on top here I'm just going to put some glue I'm working backwards here, so. And I have another one that's going to come up around, so I got to be careful where I, you know, kind of put this too. So, go to one more down. And you basically can get it to form around and sit up here. So, I've got my leaves. Okay, and then I'm going to see what I can do here about getting this one on. Uh, let's see, put this one down just... Yeah, we can pretty much put it on top of the other one, so wonderful. And just put some glue here. Thank goodness for fine line or fine tip bottles, right? And if it's not right on top, that's fine. I'm just kind of layering it somewhat, but then it just kind of follows around. Because there's going to be flowers on here, it's going to cover some of it up, and it's good. I'm leaving this side plain just because we have the tag and stuff coming down. Okay, now I have a couple, I have three flowers total. I've got to get this one up a little bit higher, so I never cut the tail all the way off so I can put it behind uh, the foam and get it to lay down good. I'm sorry for this scratchy voice. This is what I've uh, developed and sometimes I hardly have a voice at all. So, gotta love all this crazy stuff. This I'm just going to let sit for a minute and hold it. The colors do not all have to match. I, you know, it just, 
Maybe it's me. If you like everything to be perfectly matched, great. I like color. I like to mix and match colors and, you know, use whatever I have. So, okay, now I have some white apple blossoms, I believe. Again, I'm just using what I have in my stash, so, you know, I would do the same. I don't make a lot of flowers. I know how to make roses and all of that. Honestly, I don't have the time and my fingers don't do that kind of stuff very well anymore um, to, the, to roll the flowers and everything. I don't know if I have some bigger roses. I need to get some flowers. I got a bunch of little ones and was kind of in a rush when I placed the order and I didn't get everything I needed so whatever right we'll just get some more okay I'm gonna put my other white flower on here These will dry a lot better once I let them sit for a while. I'm just kind of putting them now just to hold them for a little bit. I was going to use the Magnolia Blossom. It's about the same size. And then use pink. This color pink, the Daisy Pink on the Apple Blossoms. So I have that. Then I decided, no, I want the bigger flower to be pink so I switched it out I have a little bow that's the same color as this twine here so I'm gonna put that in this was just on my desk I'm gonna guess this is about yeah inch and a half bow uh, I use my bow at all for making my bows because I I'll just tuck it under there you barely will see it mm, keep it a little bit stuck on my uh, just to add something and now I'm going to get my other glue back out and we will finish this up I'm going to put some leaves on here I'm going to put a little I'm going to use the little leaf underneath the daisy, maybe, you can see what I'm doing. Just put a little bit of glue on the bottom two leaves and the very bottom tip there. And we'll just put it off a little bit. I may come in yet and put a little flower, or excuse me, a little leaf here I think probably I'm not sure uh, just because there's some there and let's see I might be able to get this one far enough under there yeah I don't have to add or cut anything else this will work I usually add my leaves last because I'm not sure what I'm doing with them. And let's see if this will work yet. Under here. Mm, no, but it'll stick in between these two. Need something there. I don't want to go too much into my oval piece because I'm going to be adding in my uh, beer and stuff so okay so I just have a little bit of a leaf you can see sticking out there we've got those coming up so we're good there and okay We'll put him up a little bit. These are going to be 
Um, yeah, scrunched in there. We'll move them over a little bit. That's okay. I have foam on all of these pieces in case you're kind of wondering what what's going on there. Get this. Sorry, I'll get this down here a little bit. I like to to just place these first before I actually glue them on. Kind of hidden in the flowers a little bit, but you can still see it fine. I want to make sure this... Okay, I'm going to start with the U and work backwards this time. Just trying to put some glue on it. I like things to have a lot of dimension, so... Just barely get it on there. My t or my mat got moved and it wants to keep. Um, it's not quite level, I should say, so it's tilting a lot. It's irritating. I love to scrapbook, don't get me wrong, and make cards, but I still, I don't know, there's something about making uh, treat containers or goodie boxes for people. This would be great. Uh, put some little cookies in or some Valentine's treats or, you know, a little gift for someone. What I do then is I put it in a um, cellophane bag, just making sure he's somewhat straight. Straight is not in my vocabulary, I've decided. Anyway, uh, you know, and then I put it in a cellophane bag, and you can either tie the top of the bag and put a bow on it, or you can make a bag topper for it. I may make bag toppers yet. I haven't gotten that far. I was happy to be this far along for a change today. And then again, I'm just trying to get these kind of, this kind of lined up with the U for height and everything. And yeah, it's a little bit hidden behind the flowers, but you can get the, the uh, general idea of it. Okay, I want to put my glue lid on, and then what we'll do is we'll just tie everything together and show you what it looks like. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment, I'll get back to you. And if you like the video, please subscribe. Videos that are not marked as private can always be shared if you wish to do that. That's perfectly fine with me. I do most of my uh, sharing of gifts and stuff and with mostly on my Facebook page it's just so much easier for me to do there um, my Facebook page is Prairie Paper Crafts so if you haven't already you know consider doing going over to Facebook and liking that Trying to tie. I think I should have used a longer piece of string. Would have to do that. Oh, I think I got it. Or we'll get it. One more adjustment here. I'm going to cut these tails a little bit because I won't be I won't be uh, doing anything to remove the tag so I'll just make the bows 
Oh, what the? Whatever I want to call it, a little bit shorter. Okay, I'm going to put the ribbon back in and we will be done. You can see what it's like put together. I hope you consider making something like this. These are, you know, lots of fun. And I'll get you the dimensions on this one. I forgot to do that. It's really, like I said, good size. It uh, would hold a lot of nice treats, so. Making sure this stays straight in the back and twist this around. Get that out of the way. And again, try to fight with the bow. I did the bunny ears last time and it seemed to work okay. I'm going to try it again. I just, um, within the last year or so, found out about this trick of tying ribbon. Uh, apparently I'm living in the dark ages, right? But anyway, yeah, so trying to get it a bow tied, I'm sorry. Keep getting out of frame. I'll fiddle with it. It'll it'll come around. But anyway, I uh, might have to tie the tails. I'm not or shorten the tails. I'm not sure, but We'll just go with that for now, but that is the finished treat container, and uh, let me get some dimensions quick for you. It is, I'm going to go from the back, it's easier. It's about four inches high, and I'm going to go from the top edge here of the side, just to give you a better idea. That's about four and three quarters. This side is about mm, one and a quarter high, but you can fit quite a bit in there yet. And then the depth of it is about two and one eighth inches. So it really is a nice, nice size. But anyway, I want to thank you all for joining me. Have an awesome day, everybody, and take care. Thank you.